Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to talk to you about some micro motions and small hacks that I have gradually incorporated in my workflow. Each of them would not really merit a video on its own. They are very specialized and only useful under specific circumstances where you need to accomplish the task at hand. However, knowing about them can be very helpful because their combined effect, their cumulative effect, contributes to a more productive workflow. So I thought I would do a demo with the functions that I use uh, all the time, basically. So I will switch to my image window over here and toggle uh, screen key real quick. So now you can see my key presses. Let me start with what inspired me to do this video. Control HK is the command that you run when you want to search for documentation concerning a key binding. And Control S is the standard key binding for performing a search in Emacs. This is of course governed by the iSearch library. So this page produces documentation, help a help page for iSearch and it includes the various key bindings and descriptions of what each of them does. And of course, I strongly encourage you to read through this page. You can also check my backlog. I have a video on iSearch. Anyhow, there is a section over here that um, I failed to really appreciate the first time I read through this page. I didn't really um, figure out how to make use of this, uh, which is the ability to toggle white space matching. And this is governed by uh, the variables that are exposed here. So upon second inspection, I went through this file, I read through the documentation for each of these variables, and I implemented something which I think is very useful indeed. But let me show you in practice, and then I will talk a bit about uh, what I did to achieve it. So I, stand, I start a standard search. Let's search for a string, and then a space. You already see what is matching over there. You can see in the echo area over here in the mini buffer uh, that what I have typed is not exactly what is being matched here. What I have typed is the first thing over here and then a second string over there and it is matching everything in between. And the, re and the reason for that is because I have made it over here. I have made it so that when I press space, it is interpreted as a wildcard. So the dot and the asterisk is of course the wildcard that you encounter when you are uh, dealing with regular expressions. And this is something that I find very useful because now it is much easier for me to run an iSearch, a standard iSearch, Control S or Control R, type a string, then a space, then another string and be able to move uh, up and down the buffer really fast. And to uh, make this work, you need to um, uh, turn this to non-nil, the lax, uh, I search lax white space variable. And what this means basically is when there are many uh, spaces, uh, multiple spaces, to treat them as a single space. So do not treat them literally. And this is how I have it configured by default. Just for the standard I search, the regular expression aware I search, uh, remains in, intact. I have not uh, configured that. I have not tweaked that. I want it to behave as it uh, normally would. And now if I want to search for white space, if my uh, search is contingent on uh, white space characters, then of course I can toggle white space uh, sensitivity. I can do meta s and uh, space. Meta S, of course, is a common prefix in various uh, search commands. So this is something I do from time to time when I need to match uh, some white space character. Otherwise, I just use uh, what I just showcased, which is very helpful indeed. Another piece of functionality, another small hack, is this thing over here that I document in my .emacs. By the way, I will link to my configurations in the description so you can copy everything as you will. So it's uh, this small thing here, which allows you, once you have performed a successful eye search, to move the point at the opposite end of where it is. Let me show it to you in practice so that I am not too theoretical. So I am searching for this and I have some matches over there. You can see the blinking cursor. My point is at the beginning of the match. 
and depending on the direction of the, my motion of where I am going, it will be either at the beginning or the end. You can see now it's at the end. Now it's at the beginning. When it comes to words like this one, when it comes to word boundaries, you can always conclude the search uh, with a standard motion. Uh, so for example, if I want to move uh, the point to the end of this word, I can press meta and F and it is moving to the end of the word. Sorry, let's do this again. Let's search again. And of course, to the beginning of the word, the meta B, etc., etc. You can all you can use all the standard motions. But what happens if you are searching for something more uh, more than a word? For example, something like this, uh, which is of course you can see how quickly I was able to search for this just by pressing space. Now you can no longer use meta B, meta F, etc., because this is not a word. For these cases, you really need uh, the function that I just mentioned. So I have bound this to control and return. And if I were to press now, if I press now control and return, it will move to the beginning of the match. Let's run this again. Now I am here, I am at the beginning. If I press control and return, I am moving to the end of the match. These two combined, I think, uh, provide for a much more, uh, a much more uh, helpful uh, piece of functionality. I prefer this over the default. And of course, uh, you can uh, complete the search just by pressing the return key as well, which will leave the point where it is. Uh, so that's all for iSearch. Let's move further down. I have something concerning white space. So you see how quickly I was able to move with this shrink white space. I have this and uh, I document uh, what the issue is here. I explain it, but let me show it to you in practice. You can read the documentation if you check my .emacs. So let's say that, um, um, no, actually let, let me phrase it differently. Emacs have, has various ways of uh, managing white space, of reducing white space. Uh, one way is to um, shrink multiple uh, blanks into a single blank. And this is by default bound to meta and space. That's the default behavior. So many spaces become one space. You can completely eliminate uh, the, the empty space, the, sorry, the white space, by pressing meta and backslash, meta and backslash. Now there is no space over there. But personally, I don't like this state of affairs because one is meta space, the other is meta backslash. It's not very intuitive. I prefer for this kind of task to have a cyclic behavior, so sort of a toggle, and this is thankfully provided by Emacs cycle spacing. So I am bounding cycle spacing, the function, to meta and space, so let me show you in practice. If you invoke this once, it will reduce it to one blank. If you invoke it twice, it will remove the space. And if you run it a third time, so if you invoke it thrice, it will bring you back to the initial state. I prefer this over having to memorize um, multiple key presses for functionality that uh, should in fact be the way I have configured it. At least that's my opinion. Once, uh, since I am here actually, let's uh, also do this. Uh, say that you are here and you want to uh, make some edits, maybe you want to uh, uh, copy and then yank a few things and uh, place them over here and you feel like this uh, parenthesis over there might interfere with your work. So you want to place it at a new line. One way of doing this, if you don't know the key for that, is to just press the return key a few times, then come back and then come over here and then continue typing. But this is very inefficient. A better way is to stay where you are and press Ctrl and O. And what this does is to insert a new line character following the point. So now you can uh, go straight to editing without having to go back and then find where you were. You can uh, continue from where you left. Now if you want to, um, to eliminate multiple lines of uh, blank uh, space like this, multiple uh, empty lines, you can press Ctrl X, Ctrl O. This, this is default as well. Ctrl O and Ctrl X, Ctrl O are default. And you have reduced everything to a single line and of course you can bring it back up this way. 
Um, I have bound this control X, control O, because it's something I use uh, quite often. I have bound it to meta and O. By default, meta and O is used for, um, I think, a function that concerns formatting. Something to do with bold text, italics, and something to that effect, which is um, a piece of functionality that I cannot see its uh, utility, especially not uh, for such a valuable uh, key binding. So I disable that and I enable this thing over here, which is much more useful. So control O expands, meta O contracts. That's the basic idea, which is, I think, it is consistent with how various motions work in Emacs, control and uh, the key, meta and the key. So I think this is a better default. What I would appreciate further, if I maybe I will research this further, is, I, if, is if I could combine these into a single uh, piece of functionality. So for example, if you are, let's say, somewhere over here and you want to uh, completely eliminate all the space and bring everything together, you would press a key so uh, not just r eliminate this, but rather run it once or maybe twice and also uh, do this, uh, bring it all in one line together. Uh, if everything could be done with one key, that would be better. But even so, uh, these small uh, tweaks already improve upon the defaults, at least in my experience. Okay, these are nice. Uh, some more defaults uh, put disabled. Again, you see how useful is my uh, eye search, the way I have configured it for moving up and down the buffer very quickly. Um, there are some uh, commands here. No, actually, these are not disabled by default. I shouldn't be here. Anyway, let me show you what I have here. For example, uh, again, these are defaults. You have just typed something and you realize that you had to uh, have the first letter as a capital. So you need to capitalize this thing. What you might want to do is go back and then run the capitalization command. But you don't have to do that. Let's undo this. You don't have to do that. You can always, when you are uh, after the word that you have uh, just uh, typed in, you can always pass a negative argument, which you can do, do with uh, control and uh, minus or meta and minus and then the capitalization command. So meta minus and meta C will capitalize the word before the point. And this, of course, works for the other commands as well, for upcasing or for reducing everything to lowercase, so for downcasing. But the one I use the most is this one, a negative argument and meta C is something I use all the time and I find extremely uh, helpful for uh, my work I use it all the time. And of course, I have enabled uh, some other functions that relate to uh, casing, uh, but these ones are concern regions. So if you have uh, an active region and uh, you want uh, to um, upcase the entire region, you can do something like this. This is a piece of functionality that I don't really use, but I have it enabled uh, nonetheless for those cases where I need to accomplish that task. That's it. Uh, other things, uh, let's, uh, let's have, uh, let's try this. Yeah, okay, so I am here. Uh, let me show you something else. Um, say that you are here and you want to move to the first non-white space character. Uh, if you don't know the motion for this, you might be tempted to just move backward uh, this way. Or maybe move to the beginning of the line, then move like this, then something like that. However you do it, this would be rather cumbersome and inefficient. A better way is to use the default key binding bound to meta and M. So this brings you to the first non-white space character. Again, a small, uh, small uh, micro motion, a, sm um, a small thing, but very useful indeed in the grand scheme of things, especially when you combine it with all the other things that I showed of reducing the white space, of uh, shrinking it and stuff like that. So I believe that covers it. Uh, I'm not sure if I have something else. I think I have another one. Mm. Yeah, so this one as well, uh, another small tweak again. By default, meta and the equals sign is bound to a function that counts the words in the region. 
Personally, I don't like that. I prefer to count the words in the entire document. So meta and the equal sign will tell me because I am I'm uh, writing lots of things. It's uh, telling me that I have right now uh, close to 13,000 words, approximately 13,000 words. That's quite a bit, but it will only continue to increase as I uh, expand on my Emacs uh, configuration file. I still have lots of things to do. Uh, so I guess that covers it. I'm, I'm not sure if there is something else, uh, folks. Uh, however, uh, these are the, the micro motions that I use all the time. Ah, I can see another one over here, but this is something that I really need to uh, uh, embed in my daily workflow. I still haven't uh, managed it is zap up to car the default for this is zap to car i will let you research that because i have not really uh, worked on it um, much and uh, i'm not sure whether it is something useful indeed but basically what this does is if you are here and you want to uh, zap to for example the character y you press um, meta z and then the character and it deletes everything up to the character that's how i have it the default is to delete everything including the character anyhow this is something that i have not really incorporated in my workflow i'm not sure if it's something i like something that maybe it's useful for renaming files you delete everything until the dot and then you rename it maybe something like that the file extension anyhow that's all for now folks uh, thank you very much for your attention by the way, if you have uh, some tips, if you know other hacks like these that uh, help improve things, uh, please uh, share them with me because I am always looking for ways to improve my productivity, even if it is for small things uh, like these. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye, folks.